The USA is abandoning its post on the International Space Station for a very good reason, says leading NASA official. It's by Jessica Orwig on Science Alert. During the meeting of NASA's Advisory Council, recently, NASA Chief of Human Space Flight William Gerstenmeyer said, we're going to get out of ISS as quickly as we can. This is what ARS Technica reported. After leaving its post on the board on board uh, the ISS, NASA hopes to return to a destination that NASA astronauts have not visited since 1972, namely the moon. It's unclear whether astronauts will set foot on the moon. What is clear, though, is that NASA is looking to send manned missions in orbit around the moon to a region called Cislunar Space, C-I-S-L-U-N-A-R, Cislunar Space, by the late 2020s. That's just next year, starting next year, and on. Now, out there, astronauts will be days instead of hours from Earth. They will also be well outside of Earth's protective geomagnetic shield that blocks most of the dangerous high-energy radiation from the Sun. For these reasons, astronauts will get a better taste, both psychologically and physiologically, for what it would be like to take a trip to Mars. Long stays in cislunar space is ne the next step towards getting humans ready for Mars, of course. And for NASA, the International Space Station is an expensive endeavor. In 2015, the space agency dedicated about $3 billion, or one-sixth of its total $18 billion budget to the ISS alone. And these costs are only projected to increase in the coming years. NASA cannot afford to both maintain its presence on the ISS and return its astronauts to deep space destinations like the Moon or even Mars. The space agency must choose, and Gerson Meyer, who is a key voice in the future of NASA spaceflight missions, has made his decision very clear. Right now, NASA plans to continue its partnership on the ISS until 2024. Now, from what I've read in past articles, Russia has shown an interest in taking over the ISS. It does have a part of it anyway. And they plan on moving the ISS to the orbit of the moon and using it as a space station, a space uh, station around the moon. In other words, um, as it was doing its work outside of the Earth, it will also be doing its work outside of the moon and perhaps also later establishing a colony on the moon as well. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.